They're all burglars. All right, Meowth. Wow, uh, level 41, Meowth. How scary. Not really. What the f- Hello everybody, welcome back for another episode of the Pokemon Red Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we went and did a whole bundle of stuff. We went to the Safari Zone, got all the items in the Safari Zone. Well, not all the items, but all the important items in the Safari Zone. Blah, blah, blah. We went to self -Co, uh, we beat Sheffrey and Giovanni, and then we took on Koga and Sabrina's Gym, and did all of that with no casualties and un in under two hours. So, there you go. Uh, anyway, this time we are going to be trying to make our way to Cinemar Island, do the Pokemon Mansion, and fight Blaine. Now, I am still under level. I did a little teeny bit of grinding, but not not, not enough to warrant uh, fighting the next gym, but I'm going to try it anyway. Anyway, we got Bukaki, our starter, the Grass Flying Type Muck with Razor Leaf Fly, Ice Punch, and Leech Seed. We got Hentai Man, our Electric Fire Type uh, Kingler. Oh my god, that special stat. With Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, Surf, and Cut, uh, we've got Darold, the normal type, Golduck, uh, with Stomp, Swift, Horn Drill, and Swords Dance. We got Kumar, the Psychic Ice type, uh, Rhydon, with Psychic Ice Beam, Strength, and Dig. Uh, we got Dogmeat, the Ghost Rock type, Arcanine, with Nightshade, Jump Kick, Wing Attack, and Confuse Ray. And finally, we got Strippo, the Electric normal type sea king with thunderbolt thunder fire punch and softball i got rid of thunder wave because realistically these moves already paralyze <laughs> they already have a chance of paralysis so meh i also gave thunder to strip out just to make it seem cooler anyway uh we are going to be flying back to uh not a uh, pallet like you would think but i'm gonna be flying to pewter because there's a certain item i want to pick up and then i'm gonna go to um the pokemon center and grabbing a couple items because there's something at the at Cinnabar Island that you can use to get some more Pokemon. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. And after we do this episode, I'm actually gonna switch to BC, blah, 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 PC Box 2 so that we can get the rest of the encounters. So anyway, we are going to withdraw the Helix Fossil. That's what we're gonna withdraw because we are gonna revive some fossils today. Uh, we got the Helix Fossil. I didn't find a Dome Fossil anywhere, but who knows? I might find one at some point and see what it revives into. But probably not. But the thing is, is that we can run up here, and because we still have Cut on our team because of good old Hentai Man, uh, we can go over here to the uh, lab over here, cut this tree, and we can go to this building, which if we talk to this scientist, no, this one. Shh, I think that this chunk of amber contains Pokemon DNA. It would be great if Pokemon could be resurrected from it, but my colleagues just ignore me. So can I have a favor to ask? Take this to a Pokemon lab and get it examined. We got the old amber. So there we go. We got the old amber, so now we can go fly to Pallet and then grab us some new encounters. So let's go. Let's go to Pallet Town. We. Anyway. Isn't it nice to be back where you started from? Anyway, let's hop aboard Hentai Man. And now uh, we are on Route uh, 20, Route 21, I believe. Yeah, we're on a Route 21. So this is our Route 21 encounter. So what is it? A Clefairy. All right, we have a Moonstone, so meh. Urgh. Let's throw some Leech. Some leechy seeds on it. Fury attack! Oh boy! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you Clefairy. You're not doing much. And I get the Pokeball. Darn. Alright, whatever. And there we go, we got it. Sweet. Clefairy, the fairy Pokemon. Its magical and cute appeal has many admirers. It is rare and and found only in certain areas. Well, uh, I guess it, this can be the nickname that uh, Daniel wanted, which I totally forgot about. I'm sorry, dude. So there you go. This thing can be the boot train. So there you go. Sorry, I totally forgot about your name. I do apologize. That's my fault. But anyway, we're not going to fly. That's a stupid idea. I'm gonna get on Hentai Man. 
fly on this man's tentacle -y back. Or some shit. <laughs> <clears throat> My throat is not working today. Magmar? Could have gotten Magmar. It's level 10. Probably would have caught instantly, but whatever. Anyway, also, um, my grass encounters and my uh, water encounters, I do count them as different encounters. So, that means no bullshit. Ooh, th this kid thinks he can be all smart. Uh, also, if it swaps to Cinnabar Island without it telling me, then piss off. Unless I can see Cinnabar Island and then it happens, you know. Okay, so now I'm at Cinnabar Island. So if I would have gotten an encounter right there, then, you know, I would have counted it as my encounter. So that Pikachu doesn't mean anything. You can interpret that as it meaning something, but I wasn't going to bother to keep checking it. I didn't want to grab the town map and then have to keep pulling it up over and over and over to see if it was Cinnabar. Like, if I go out to Cinnabar again and there's another Pikachu, then fine. You know, then I'll take the Pikachu. But if not, then the Pikachu means dick. So there you go. Oh yeah, and I still have two Master Balls. Ha ha ha! Anyway. Let's go in here and see what we can do. I also could do Missing Now if I felt like tearing this game a new one. Which, I feel like that would be really, really funny. Uh, probably also want to see those legend encounters. Which, if I have time for it, then I can probably try to cram a legendary encounter in here. And if I have enough PC box space. Encounter. Do it. Do it. Oh yeah, that has to be... It has to be the other area, because... Yeah, it has to be Route 21. I would love a Venusaur, but I can't take it. And a Magmar. Okay, so yeah. Alright, never mind. Fuck it. I'm not gonna pull out a fishing rod just, just to get a fucking encounter here that's dumb. I can just go left and then call that... Or right and say it's, and say it's 20. Say it's Route 20. So there we go. If I really do need the encounters, I'll take them. The water encounters, but fuck it. Anyway, what do you have to say, good sir? Hiya! I'm an important doctor. I study rare Pokemon fossils. Hey, you have a fossil for me? I uh, got the Helix fossil. Oh, that's a Helix fossil. It's a fossil Marowak. Oh, a Pokemon that is already extinct. My resurrection machine will make that Pokemon live again. Okay. You go walk for a little while. Okay, so he's gonna tell you you're late no matter what, but you know, just leave the building, come back, and it's all good. So there we go. Where were you? Your fox was back to life. It was Marowak, like I think. There you go. So now we have a Marowak, which means I have a lone boner once again. Now, because the genders are completely uh, out of the way. That means a lone boner sounds funny. A lone boner sounds funnier. So there you go. There's no room for Pokemon. was sent to the Pokemon Box 1. Okay. So now let's go to Box 2. No, not, no, no, no. Let's see what the old Amber is. Yeah, old Amber. It's a fossil Pidgey. <laughs> Alright, well, one level will evolve it. So I guess that's fine. You, you can go walk for a little while. Sure thing, Doc. <laughs> is that a Team Fortress 2 line? I don't know if that's a TF2 line. Anyway, let's go. Where were you? You're fossil back to life. So I got a Pidgey. Pidgey! Alright, so I'm gonna use my random name generator because I've literally got nothing for Pidgey. So, you know, whatever. No, I would like an ambiguous gender, which is Shalev. Okay. Shalev. There's no Pokemon, it's said to Pokemon box one on the PC. Okay, so now we're gonna see if the um box is full, like I anticipated. Because I said that I only had a handful of uh, the space a little bit of space left. Oh, we can buy ultra balls and hyper potions here, I think. So there you go. 
Anyway, there is a way to soft lock yourself on this island, but. Yeah. Uh, let's just stick to Bukaki in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so the box is full. Uh, Jodat, I'm sorry, you're dead. Whatever. Okay, so we can go get an encounter in the Pokemon Mansion, and with that, box one will be full. So after that, there will be no we cannot have any more encounters in box one. So officially, we'll have to start saving the game when we switch boxes. So, yeah. Welcome to Red and Blue. Anyway, time for the Pokemon Mansion. I don't remember the Pokemon Mansion, so... Uh... Fitting? <laughs> it's not fitting at all. Anyway, let's go to Dog Meat because he's got Nightshade, and Nightshade is good for encounters. Okay, let's just go up. Oh, do I have to go like this? A secret switch! Press it! Who wouldn't? <laughs> oh... Pokemon Red and Blue, you never cease to surprise me. Is there just like a permanent fucking repel up or something? Oh, the moment I talk about it. Bruh! It's a fucking Charizard at level 32! Oh my god! Dude, yo. I don't got a name for Charizard. Wow, I can't even hit it again if I wanted to. Uh, should I go for a Confuse Ray? Uh... See how a Pokeball handles it. Yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, it appeared to be caught. I mean, if it keeps throwing out horn attacks, I'm perfectly fine with this. I mean, if the Pokemon box was full, it would literally just be rejecting my my Pokeball throwing. Like, you wouldn't even be able to throw balls if your box was full. Like, I'll try it on the next encounter when I catch this thing. Oh boy, I resist. Yeah, I resist that because I'm rock type. Ha! <laughs> So, yeah, okay, so this is a uh, fire type. Now, the thing is, it could be fire normal. Son of a bitch. Okay, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try a great ball next. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try a great ball. Because a great ball's great! In theory. Ha ha! There you go. There we go. Charizard, the flame Pokemon. Spits fire that is hot enough to melt boulders. Known to cause forest fires unintentionally. Yo, it's me! <laughs> it's me. <laughs> it's not me. Uh. Can I call it anti smoky? <laughs> is that what it is? Can I fit that in? Is it anti smoky? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> this thing is the opposite of Smokey Bear. Okay, so check this out. We now have 20 um, encountered Pokemon in Box 1. Check this out. This Rhyhorn is not a legal encounter, but I'm gonna throw a Pokeball at it. Check out what happens. The Pokemon box is full! Can't use that item! Yeah, it literally prevents you from using it because your box is full. So, what I'm gonna do before I end up screwing myself in a later date trying to catch a legend or something, because if you do find a legendary Pokemon, you're fucked if that happens. You're just fucked. The, the legendary's gone. Unless you saved. Which means you would have to run out of whatever dungeon you were in in the first place. Uh, anyway, let's change the box. Or I could release Jodat, but no, I'm not like that. Anyway, let's go to box number two, and with that, we can put all of our encounters in there pretty much for the rest of the game. So there we go. Shouldn't worry about it. And I uh, might as well just heal the Pokemon Center, because I'm not trying to be suicidal. Anyway. I mean, legit, I have no reason just messing around. I don't need to mess around with my gosh dang Pokeballs anymore, just because, you know, I don't need to buy them. Pretty much all the only things I really need to buy anymore are healing items. Pretty much about it. All right, so I think Charizard is the best possible encounter. So basically, if Hentai Man ends up falling, hey, we got a really good substitute right there. So anyway, does the door reset? Yes, it does. Okay, so this has an upstairs area. Now, I think you're supposed to go up there and encounter Weezing. Okay, guess what, Weezing? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about Weezing. Uh, anyway, let's hit the... Damn it. K. 
Kangas gone. Wow, level 38. That's good experience. I'm gonna kill this thing. I'm gonna kill this thing for experience. Wow. Oh. Oh, wow. I told you jump kick and high jump kick have no recoil. I told you they had no recoil. There you go. Press it. Who won? Um, I could be using repels. You know. Oddish. Fuck that. Alright. Plunge to the great beyond! That's the beginning of the area. Oh, no, it's not. Son of a bitch. I'm a champ. Probably better experience than I think it could offer. Fuck. Rolling kick. Arr! Okay, so we'll machop and sh stuff are weak to fighting. Okay. Anyway. Alright, so we're definitely in the right area. We're on the right track. Wow, full restore. We can stick that right in the PC. Okay, there we go. Excellent. Oh yeah, now we're in business. Now we're gonna be able to find that secret key. Alright. There you go. Meowth. Fuck! Every time I bump into this piece of shit, it's not my first encounter, and I can't trade it for that, uh, Hitmonchan. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's that little asshole from the beginning of the game that nearly killed me. Kabuto nearly ended my life. Fuck you, Kabuto. Actually, wouldn't a wing attack just be neutral? Yeah. Okay. Dead. TM-47. What is TM-47? Please be Earthquake. At this point, I just want Earthquake. <laughs> I mean, as broken as it is, I don't really care. Oh, I still have Pin Mizzle. I'll sell both of these off. Yeah, I'm gonna sell both of those off. However, the floor store stays in the box. Stays in our, uh, thing. There you go. Who wouldn't press it? Who wouldn't press the secret switch? Clefable? Oh my god. No, I'm not fighting those. If I find a Chansey, though, I'd be happy to kill one of those, because that thing gives oodles of experience. Does Are there any items on this side? I don't think the secret key is over here. I don't believe so. Okay, another Great Ball. Alright, whatever. There you go. Cover our losses. Polyrath? What the fuck? I knew, I knew encounters got up in levels. I knew wild encounters got up in levels here. I right, neutral on wing attack. Okay. If you can't hurt me, then I'm fine with you. Oh! Well, I can just die. That's good, too. Wow. Okay. Alright. Uh, please give good experience. Okay. A thousand experience is fine by me. So is it water type? It might be water type. Might still be water type. Uh, kind okay, of screw it. Let's put Bukaki in the front of the party. Screw it. Son of a bitch. Alright, now who gives a fuck? Um, yeah, I'm gonna use speed up for this just because I don't got the time or the patience. I'm only gonna use repels for Victory Road, I think. Yeah, that's what I'm probably gonna do, just use them for Victory Road. Because at this point, I don't, I don't got the time to waste. Alright, and Abra. Actually, you're not going to have teleport. Then again, you give shit experience. Yeah, you give shit experience. Pretty sure that secret switch just lets you get this item up here, I'm pretty sure. And if I'm not mistaken. No. It, you actually... Okay, you use it to progress. Okay. Well, screw it. I want the item. A super motion. You know what? Super motion. I can use you. Let's just use you to heal up dog meat a little bit. Actually, you know what I could have done? I could have soft-boiled... Dog meat and then super potioned up Strippo. That's what I could have done. Damn it, me and my feeble brain. Dodrio, what type are you? Probably still flying. You're frozen anyway, so who gives a shit? <laughs> my intuition is on point though. 699. Uh. A secret switch. Press it. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't press a secret switch? If you found just a random button on... Oh, there's the secret key. Fuck. Oh, Dodrio. There barely did any damage. Okay. TM45. Never mind. The secret key's down here. Shit. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna finally confirm for flying type. 
Yeah, it's flying type. <laughs> I'm pretty sure ever since the first episode, or technically the second, you already knew it was flying type. So there's the secret key. You must have the secret key. You need to have the secret key. You need to have the secret key. You need to have the secret key. Alright, let's test something. Can we dig out of here? Yes, we can. We can, in fact, dig out of here. And that's why I said we didn't need escape ropes, because we have Kumar. See, Kumar is a good boy. Yeah, pretty much, oh, if we find an Earthquake TM, we can basically just save it until the Elite Four. And then the Elite Four and just Earthquake stuff. That's cool. I like that. Where's Per Ugly? Esp. I don't talk about Per Uglies like that. You know that you'll hurt their feelings. Anyway, let's go deposit our uh, full restore in the PC. Alright. So we're going to deposit the full restore. And we need to have the secret keys. There we go. We're still going to have the Pokey Flute just because reasons. I mean, I could full heal sleep, but sleep, it's not really a thing I'd really want to waste full heals on, you know what I mean? 54k? Are you serious? What? I actually want TM45. I didn't look to see what TM45 was. What is TM45? No! I know Oak. It isn't the time to use it. Skull Dash. Two turn move. Uh, I'm not really content with using a two turn move for the same power of probably Body Slam. So you know what? Fuck you. Fuck. Fuck you. Fuck you. All right. Want two thousand for Pin Missile? I'm down for that. Uh, fifteen hundred for Bind, and then a uh, thousand for Skull Bash. Okay. There you go. There it goes. Ultra Balls, Great Balls, Hyper Potions, Max Repels. Uh. I'd be down to carry, like, 10 max repels on me. Or maybe 15. Nah, I'll take 10. I'll just take 10. Escape ropes, fucking useless because I have big. Revives, fucking useless because it's a Nuzlocke. And then full heals, I'll buy 13. Because, why the hell not? And hyper potions, how many hyper potions do I have? I have 14 hyper potions. Well, that's about to change. Fuck it, I'm just gonna buy six. It's just 9,000. It's not over 9,000, it's just 9,000. Okay. Did I heal the Pokemon Center? I'm pretty sure I did. Am I positive? <laughs> nope, I don't wanna fly. I don't wanna fly. Okay, I did heal. Okay, good. At least I'm not stupid. I'm dumb, but I'm not. I'm kind of dumb, but I'm not absolutely... I'm pretty much... I'm Basically, I'm dumb, but I'm not brain dead. Okay, so now we can either ask trivia questions or fight trainers. And although generally I would probably be in the market to want to skip these people, I might just need the experience because Blaine will just kick my ass, I think. So let's just talk to these guys. I was a thief, but I came straight as a trainer. I still look like a burglar. Look at it. Look at him. He's a gymnast. Need arena. Oh, your grass or good. <laughs> your ground type. Which means an ice punch shall do nicely to swiftly seal your death. There you go. I'm about to use magic color. Doesn't matter what I use on this thing, it's easy. There you go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna disrespect. I'm gonna disrespect this thing. Uh oh. I'm gonna actually put myself into a pickle. Oh, it's super effective. Never mind. Fuck it. <laughs> Never mind. I just annihilated it. I can use Squirtle. Squirtle, Squirtle. Oh, these things are jerkwads, actually. Ah ha ha. Ah ha ha. Bukaki just trolls everybody with a uh, fly. I don't remember if. I think he tried to learn Drill Peck during grinding, and I was like, no. Because. I wanted him to be able to fly because it allows him to dodge moves. Okay. Do you know how hot Pokemon Fire Breath can get? Could have read Charizard's description better. <laughs> Technician wants to fight. That name makes sense for a super nerd. It's a Scyther. I'm going to fly upon your Scyther. Use Waterfall. Okay. Withdraw. This thing has to be water type. It has to be water type. 
Okay, it must be water type. Okay, water type Scyther. Pretty interesting. Got to use pet. Probably could be more worried, but whatever. Resisted to ice. Okay. Rest. Okay. Floats your boat, I guess. Ah! Dead. Screw you, Paris. Sigh. Duck. You have to be normal type. Egg bomb. Yeah. So Psyduck is normal type, so I could have switched to dog meat. But who cares? My Bukaki's great. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Yo! Hot, hot, hot! Now, oh, actually, hmm, if I have enough time, I don't know if I want to try to cram in Giovanni's gym. You can't win. I studied Pokemon totally. N no. No, you haven't. I, I guess I could. I mean, it's not like his levels are that different from fucking him. Alright, Ghastly. Oh, you guys are fighting type. You're just about to get annoyed. An an annoyed? Annihilated. I mean, it would be annoying if you're getting hit by super effective moves all the goddamn time. So there you go. Uh, Seeking. Uh, okay. Uh, this is only a recipe for disaster if I stay in, so let's go to Kumar. Which is also a bad idea because it has Fire Punch, but you know what? With lips like that, I bet it's gonna let me live. No, it's not. It, it, it has no mercy. Fuck it. Kumar's like a hundred plus attack. Kumar doesn't give a shit. But he was Pidgeotto! It's not Pidgeotto, it's Pidgeot. How does Pidgeot cry itself in the anime? No, Pidgeotto's, but not Pidgeot's. Huh. Fuck me. Amnesia. Psychic type fucking Pidgeot? What? Why is it- No! Stop doing that! You are not Mewtwo! Like a poison power? Psychic poison? Fuck you! So now it's at plus six special. Yeah, it's at plus six. Fuck you. You just wasted my time. Congratulations! You wasted my fucking time. Mmm. Okay. Alright. You know what? I haven't made an intro moment yet this whole episode. I think this might be the time. <laughs> okay, Mew. It's time to figure out what you are. Resisted to grass. Supersonic. Let's try flying up in the air. Psychic. Neutral. Sky attack. Neutral. What the fuck? Well, it only resisted grass, so it could be... Um... I mean, what could it be? It's not flying. Unless it's like a dual typing that makes flying, like, normal. But then again, it doesn't work like that in this game. Fuck it. I don't care. Should I give Bukaki some time off the spotlight? Yeah. You know, I was using Kumar earlier. Let's get Kumar in there. And then put Dog Meat as a secondary because we were using him. Excuse me, I almost died. I just like using Fire Pokemon. That's it. That's my story. Like, you're all burglars. Alright, Meowth. A uh, level 41 Meowth? How scary. Not really. What the fuck? Wow, I never... <laughs> um, I think that might be the intro moment. <laughs> Seriously? Okay. Okay. Alright, there you go. Too hot to handle. What the fuck? Meowth is just packing the heat. N no pun intended. I think it actually was intended. God damn, fucking Meowth is out to kick ass. Kick ass and take names. There you go. Isn't this better than me asking the questions? I don't know why Blaine became a trainer. Just whack people with his cane all day long. 
Oh, that's a stupid question. Wigglytuff. <laughs> God, Wigglytuff, you look so demented. Seriously, Wigglytuff does look demented. Okay, electric type Wigglytuff. Okay, I'm glad I got hit by Thunderbolt instead. <laughs> I think I'm glad I got hit by Thunderbolt instead, because I don't know how well Kumar would have eaten a Thunder. Like, if he took 20 damage, more than 20 damage from a Thunderbolt, and then a Thunder probably would have done even more. Is this one Tombstoner? No, that one's Tombstoner. <laughs> I've been to many gyms, but this is my favorite. Why, because you get asked the same eight questions again and again and again? Probably. Ditto. Grass fighting type. Well, good thing I don't have my flying moves on hand. Fortunately, I've got my other guy counters. Both grass and fighting. Or is it fighting bug? Whatever, it's dead. Who cares? That's why I didn't use Ditto initially. Diglett. I don't know what Diglett's type is. Oh, but I have fucking... Oh, I remember fucking Mr. Other Guy's type. Duck Trio. Okay, I think... Yeah, I was thinking I remember it being ground tight, but whatever. I just got lucky. Yowza! Too hot! Everybody complains about it being too hot, and yet the only fire type I've seen is a goddamn kitty cat. Fire is weak against H2O. Thanks for telling me right before the fucking gym leader. You know, the you're, you're one step below the guy who's about to use all the fire in the world. You fucking think, hmm, maybe this trainer should just sit there and revel about the, you know, possibility of getting annihilated by Blaine. Nah, just tell him the secret. Maybe kids won't understand what H2O really is. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, whatever. Kumar's just gonna dig a bunch of holes and do something. I mean, Kingler actually does make sense for this gym because he's fire type. Still just... Ow, snuffed out. Snuffed out. Well, here's Blaine. I don't really want to talk to Blaine, but I'm here. So, what what excuse do I really have to not talk to Blaine? I'm underleveled. The hero's nothing. Ha! I am Blaine! I am the leader of Cinnabar Gym! My fiery Pokemon will incinerate all challengers! Ha, you better have a burn heal! Trust me, I got a full heal and the Pokey Flute. I'm covered. I got like 20 full heals and a pokey flute. I'm all covered. Rachel sent out Jinx. Okay. You know, Jinx is a perfect Pokemon for a person named um named Rachel. I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt it. Neutral and psychic. Okay. Special fell. Used a super potion. Interesting. And it's weak to ice beam. Well, ain't that fucking pretty. And Komar got a nifty little level up. Good for him. Rattata. That's a ghost type. I, and a ground type. So Dogmeat will not be entering this battle because... Uh, wow, my options are really quite limited here. Uh, I just have to either use Bukaki or Komar. Let's go to Bukaki because I'll just hit it with a nice punch. Wow, okay. Uh, Rattatas really do put my team in check. It's not like they really put my team in check. It's just, they're a nuisance. That's what they are. They're a fucking nuisance. They have no experience in shit. Flareon. Oh, I think he's a grass type. I'm 99% sure he's a grass type. So Flareon should be jack dick. Is 54 the yellow level? I'm pretty, no, I'm pretty. Oh. Whatever the case, you need to die. Resisted to fire? What the fuck? What? No, I didn't mean to click it again. Son of a bitch. Whatever, at least Hentai Man got some screen time. Which, I'm perfectly fine with Hentai Man getting screen time. There you go. I'm about to use Sandshrew. Oh, God, why? Why do I not know the types of these things? Okay, let's go to our most offensive mod. Let's go to our most offensive. 47. What? Excuse me. Your highest is level 47? What the fuck is this bullshit? I'm more ready for Giovanni than you! How, how much is Nightshade gonna do? Wow, nothing. 
straight nothing. I wanted to do a Confuse Ray. That's what I wanted to do, because Confusion would be very helpful here. Fuck. Okay, so he's trying to confuse me while I'm confusing him. Neutral and flying. Fuck. Hit yourself. Yes. There you go. Finish them off with the jump kick! And it's weak to fighting. Okay, Sandshrew and presumably Sandslash are weak to fighting. So there we go. Yes! I have burnt out! You have earned the Volcano Badge! There you go. Add that puppy to the layout. Ha! The Volcano Badge heightens the special abilities of your Pokemon. Here, you can have this too. Alright, Team 38. I'm presuming it's Confusion. Minimize. Oh my god. Nope, we're selling that right off. I don't use bullshit like that. Although some people do, I don't feel comfortable just using bullshit. It's just bullshit, man. It's literally just cheesing your opponent out with evade. Nah, I don't roll like that. So anyway, let's sell off the TM38. Now, as crazy as it sounds, we need to keep the secret key because that is going to be our secret to getting into the next gym, which is Giovanni's. So there we go. We're going to have to fight G... Fight Giovanni for the second time, but while oh, I'm at it, I might as well just look up his level to dictate whether or not. You know what? No, fuck it. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. I'm not gonna grind for the next episode, and I just need to cut, edit these next couple videos, and then I can just film this one straight in a row with all the others. So there we go. Apart from that, I think we're all good in the hood. So there we go. Uh, this was a little softer episode compared to the last one. We still got a gym badge, but. I mean, there we go. So, next episode... Uh, nope, let me let me start over. Let me start over. Uh, next time on the Pokemon Red Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke, we are going to be going on to Giovanni's gym, possibly taking on Sheffrey once again. So both Giovanni and Sheffrey will be in another episode. And maybe grabbing a legend? If we have enough time for it. But then, uh, or should I just go up the victory road? Or should I just go up the victory road? I'll leave it up to you. Um... Uh, should the finale be just the Elite Four and the Champion, or should uh, Victory Road and the Elite Four and the Champion be one episode, while well, after beating Sheffrey and Giovanni, Giovanni, I just run around going and grabbing Legends? I don't know. I shall leave that up to you. Anyway, I am Reaper Vegas, and I'll see you all next time.